Supplemental math videos from Circle Christian School. Conjecture and conclusion. It's all about the P's and Q's. It's the argument. You need to be logical and reasonable. Make your case and make it stick. Your hypothesis is a lot like your conjecture. It's an educated guess. And the educated guess part here is that you've seen a pattern you think it will always work then you do your conclusion after doing some patterning it does always work okay conditional a conditional means if this then that so therefore they like to say that it's p then q on a converse, it's just the reverse of what you had done. So it's saying here, if that, which is Q, then this, which is P. The fun little geometry that we have. An inverse starts with whatever you had on the conditional first and says, if not this, so if not P, and the funny little sign means not, then not this. I'm sorry, not that. My bad. I'm kind of having fun doing two of those. Be bopping between my colors here. And then the contrapositive is just the opposite of what the inverse is. And it pretty much says, if not Q, then not P. Let's start with the conditional, if a dog's a Great Dane, then it is large. So what you need to do is identify basically what the hypothesis is, and that's the if part and then identify what the conclusion is. So that's going to be our condition. If a dog's a Great Dane, then it is large. If P, then Q. And now we're going to do the converse of that, or the opposite. So if a dog is large, then it is a Great Dane. And when you look at this, you have to decide if it's true or false. And although a lot of large dogs would like to be Great Danes, doesn't mean that it is so. So this statement is going to be false. Now the inverse just does the not part. So if a dog is not a Great Dane, to see if you can finish it, then it is not a large dog. And again, you have to decide whether the statement can be true or false. And just because a dog's not a Great Dane, let's say it's a St. Bernard, it would still be a large dog. So it doesn't work for all examples. It does have a counterexample. Let's check out the um, contrapositive of that. If a dog is not large, Ah, uh, that was supposed to be in red. Can't change it now. I mean in blue. But we can make the red happen. Then it is not a great thing. And you check again to see if it makes for a true statement or not. 
And let's see if the dog's not large, it's not big, then definitely not going to be a Great Dane. Even Great Dane puppies are rather large. So it makes a true statement. So basically what you're doing is making argument in all sorts of different ways. Um, does it work this way? Does it work in reverse? Does it work when you negate it or do the not thing? Um, and then in reverse to decide whether or not something is just true all the way around. This is what we do in geometry.